this is going to be a three-part series. It's the first series. Just, I'm going to walk around in Octorum, see what's happening, see what the situation is. Hopefully, I can find a pub at the end of it. Do the Octorum stuff. And then the next episode is going to be the wood church. See what's popping around the wood church. Again, let's hope there's a pub at the end of it. Then after that, we're going to go to the Ford Estates. But again, at the end of this walk, at the end of the next video's walk, and at the end of the third video walk, it will have a pub at the end of it. So, if this is something you would like to see, something that interests you, why not throw me a subscribe so I can go to further locations and do similar stuff, record similar stuff. Subscribe to the channel to keep you updated. Because if you can help out the channel, it's only going to make the content better. So, well, thanks for watching as there is. It's, my name's Jamie, in case you haven't been on the channel before. And I hope you enjoy what I show you today. Let's get in to the situation. Always had trouble crossing the road here. I'm sure when to go, when to stay. We're near gonna pop up. I'm gonna go for it. You're honest. Let's go. Go. So it's just on the often bypass. Going towards Noctorin. This side wants to walk on the bike lane. That building on my left used to be a Seven Styles. Now it's a Jack and Jill Bay Nursery. Kids. So we just cross the road here. And again here. Right. Now we're basically in the North Forum. When I was a kid, and I used to live on the North Forum estate. We used to always come to this place with our bikes. We used to have to lift our bikes over the steps. And that was basically a bridge over the rail track. So as a kid, I used to always come to this bridge with my bike. We used to have to carry our bikes over the bridge. And this would take us to defend the way. Must have been going on 15 years since I last done this. Yeah, so it's just a bridge over the rail track, the Upton rail track. And I can get you to Wales, North Wales. It's not part of the major rail. Back in the mid 80s, this is where the local gangs used to meet up and fight. So I'll just ride down here and show you where The tunnel is to get over to the other side to cross. So this is just a stream on my right. Just a little stream behind those, all that grass, all those bushes. And I'll show you where people used to meet up. This used to be a meeting point. People used to have the scrap. So you had people coming from the Noctorum from where I just came from. 
if you go behind me and go further up this path, that's where people used to come from the ford. And I'll show you where people used to come from. The woodsheds. So you should see a tunnel. So that's a tunnel into the woodsheds. I'm not going to go down there today. We'll save that for the next video. Today's video is going to be on the Noctorum. There used to be a very, very big issue with drugs and poverty and there was no jobs around here. And there was a lot of crime, a lot of crime. And that was back in the mid 80s. So, we are officially on the Nocturnum Estate. I'd be interested to see if there's any boarded up houses around these parts. Because from what I've heard, from what people say, houses on this estate and the Nocturnum Estate are sought after. So once they become available, they get snapped up right away. So we'll be lucky to see a boarded up house. Keep watching the video. And we'll go to different locations of different places where crime has happened in the past, as recently as a couple of years ago. I will show you where the shooting was with some machine gun again. It's a nice day, luckily, on the Costa del Noctorum. So I'm just walking to our local pub, which is not too far away. It's about 500, 600 yards. This is where a lot of people off the Knoxville and the state would have came to because they didn't really have a local pub. Especially back in the 80s. Back in the 80s, they'd have free shops. Going back five years ago, you used to have a mobile. I used to go around the estate, but they don't even have that anymore. It's a lot better now. And the houses around there, going for around, on average, around 200 grand. The houses around there, or they are sought after whether you're renting or you're paying out a mortgage. So I'll bring you back once we do get to the Weir 100, which is just on the outskirts of the Noctorum, in a place called Townfield, Frenton. Okay, so we're just by Ridgeway High School, we're just on the end by the field. And in that direction, apparently, there used to be a nightclub called the Creek Nightclub. Now it's blocked off with railings now. And obviously there's a housing, housing estate on the left, but there was a nightclub and that was, that operated, hey, just a big dance floor, loads of lights. This is like a proper, proper full on dance, dance arena, proper full on dance club, lights in the floor. Apparently they closed down 25 years ago, so around 1995, but it used to be like a really social club for a lot of people off. And not all in the states, and even the woodshed states. So there used to be a lot of trouble in there, as you would expect. So we have arrived at the World 100. So again, this is uh, the local for a lot of people who lived on the Nocturne over the years. So let's see what's kicking off inside. Dead. Two pints again, this please. Okay, so we're in uh, World 100, so we're going to split the G and see how we get on. Have you gone under and I gone over? Yeah, it's, it's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best attempt, really. On to the next one. Okay, so we're still in the world 100, and Nathan is going to try and split the tea. Split the tea. Easy work. But that's a good attempt. Can you hear that? No, I don't. It's just a tea blow. Okay, so. We're just sitting here in the world 100. We've got our Guinness. 
And to be honest with you, it's not a bad gaff. It's not a bad gaff. It's nice, it's nice, nice in the air. It's a nice pint. It is a nice pint. Nice pint of Guinness. Nice and creamy, as you would expect. But we can't complain at all, so... This pint goes nice pint. So, one, two, three, go. I raise seven. Seven is for me. In Belfast, it's a nice Guinness, yeah? I've raised it again, it's like... I've actually raised it, as you've seen in my previous videos. I've had a Guinness, especially in the spoons, I paid in bacon heads. Spoons and bacon head. I paid two pound, two pound ninety it was. So it's like two pound cheaper than what I paid for this Guinness, and I rated that at four. Four. So that says it all. That's all about it. Well, it's just like piss water. Okay, so I promised you a few locations from from not touring and what was going on, what the situation is. So as you've seen on video, I've just come out of the world 100 and let's, I've had a few berries, I've had a few few Guinness and I've been feeling a bit tipsy so I've decided that I want to go to Baconhead for a few more drinks so if, th if that's something you're into it's a Friday night Friday evening at the moment, so it will be a Friday night I'm going to go out there I'm going to give you content we're, we're going to have a laugh do you know what I mean? That buzz. That's what it's about. That's the thing on my channel. That's the thing on my channel. Like, you might see similar channels where they go to a few pubs midday and they're quiet pubs. But I'm going somewhere. I'm going out on Friday night. It's going to be busy. It's going to be people around. There's going to be people who are not happy with me recording. But I don't care. I want to bring you the content. So we're going to have a good time. So if that's something you're into, carry on watching. And I'm sorry about the nocturnal. I didn't have a few places to show you. It's not the worst place to live in. And it's got a reputation, just like the wood chairs, just like the Ford. It's got a reputation, but it's not as bad as it seems. You look around you, there's places around here. All these houses, all filled. No boarded up places. People want to live around here, and that's all I can say in an Oxford. Now, I don't know about the Wood Church, I don't know about the Ford, because I'm not from there, but people do. In my eyes, it's a nice place, it's a good community. These houses, it's, it's quite a quiet place nowadays. It's, it's got this reputation, which is unnecessary. And you've got all these back streets, got all these streets, which are not what they seem. So yeah, would I say if someone asks me, do you want to? Is it worth? Is it safe to live in not I say yes. It's just there's not much trouble. There's a few more far between trouble around the not Especially nowadays, you don't see groups of people hanging around the streets like we used to do back in my day. Or even, as I've mentioned, like the, the drugs, or the drugs around the estates back in the mid-80s, heroin, or the speed, crack, coke. It, it's not like that anymore. It's, it's a good community. So, what can I say? It's a nice area. It's a decent area. That's enough touring for you. So we've decided to abort the mission and we're going to go to Baconhead and we're going to see what's popping in Baconhead. Let's see what the situation is. What we'll do now, for now, is we are going to go to Spoons and Baconhead. Now, you might might have seen in my last one of my previous videos, last time I went in Spoons, I did a Baconhead pub crawl. And I paid the cheapest I've ever paid for a pint of Guinness, and that was £2.80. And that was in this spoons which we are going to enter. Walking towards the bus stop, 437. Yeah, abandoned place. And look at the windows. Smashed up. That used to be a place like a shed tonight, yeah. Let's, 
So this place here used to be a place to do sheds. Bodybuilders changed health down in gym way. But look at it. It's smashed up. Now that's a part of Birkenhead. That's not what we want to see. Why can't they convert that into something decent? So we get a closer view. Yeah, so all the windows smashed. So basically, I, from what I've been told, they used to sell steroids in there and the police got onto them and it's, it's actually been closed down. But you can see all the smashed windows. Now, I don't condemn selling drugs or steroids like that. But, why, someone can take over that building and turn into something special. They could. They could. And this is breaking out. It's just a, look at this car park. Who's this car park for? It's for no one. What's this car park for? <laughs> Rules have changed. Come out of Nathan, my brother, who's been a weirdo. You know, a little dance. Oh, hey, hey, hey. He's got the skills. This is Birkenhead Central. So, yeah, so this this monument here used to be attached to that. And back, back in the day, it used to be attached to that. That it's got a, it used to have a public toilet underneath in the middle of a roundabout. That's a bit of history for you. Mersey Rail, quickest route to Liverpool. That's a bit of history for you. So, Nathan being a prat. Do you know what? Honestly, I can't not remember the last time I've seen this place without all these scaffoldings around the building. There he is. There he is. Wave! He's waving. So he's going to take me to his... Oh, I do apologise. If you are watching this still, to this time, this is meant to be a Noctorian video. Rend up and make an Two drinks. Why are you looking at the train station? Oh, a guy who's ever just approaching, or a guy on the streets. So, this is Birkenhead. After dark, that's a bit of a hill there. I'm not walking up there. I'm going towards this direction. That's Nathan in the distance. Again, a lot of residential places. Nothing boarded up. You look at that building there. It's got the loft converted. It's not, it's really not a bad place. It's really not a bad place. You could walk down there. It's a bit random. There's like two cars parked in the field. Yeah. So look, at that, look at that skyline. If you do like this video and you do want to see the Ford and you do want to see the wood church, subscribe, see that. It's all nice for. It, does, it cost, doesn't cost you a penny. Please subscribe. It will help the channel to allow me to go further in the field and make more videos. Peace. I like the fact I'm definitely in this video. Okay, so I'm sitting here in a, the old house in Birkenhead, just on the outskirts of the main city centre, and I'm on the sign split the G. This is definitely a different class to what I'm used to. If I'm correct, am I right, Nathan? Is it? Is it? It might not be. I don't know what you said to say. The glass itself is a, is a difference. It looks a bit... It's like a Guinness glass. It's the same what? It's a Guinness glass without the engravings on it. Okay, so it's still branded. A branded Guinness glass. So I'm still going to attempt to G. Go on. So let's see how it goes.
well too much. Is it? Not gonna lie. Hey! I think you smashed it. That might be perfect. <laughs> Come on, son. For the first time. Last drink of the night and you've this... got it perfect. I'm not going to lie, that's the first time, the closest I've ever been to splitting the G. Look at that. If that does not deserve a like or a comment or a, a sub. And when I do say sub... You're going on a bit now, come I on. Do a sub free of charge. Okay now, they know. Does not cost money. Exactly. Right. Have you ever seen one of these? So it's a 15% shot. I've got pineapple. I've got apple. And he's got apple. Come on, let's go. Open your So door. we're going to down these and let's see how we get on. So I've got the lid off. Oh, the lid goes on forever. So down these. Go on, Neef. I know, it's my turn. Down that. Yep, that's my turn. So I've had a few babies. This is on my phone. I've had a few babies walking down Argyle Street. Thanks for watching. And I did tell you this is part of a free video series. It's a mini series. Do not saw it. Aspect of this portion of this series which again when we buy bacon essential bacon essential and bacon head obviously the next part of this video not this video the next part two of this series it's going to be around the wood church estate which has got a lot more to offer. Now we're walking home, I'm walking to the bus station in Birkenhead to get the bus home, back to the Noctorum, where my brother lives, lives, who came out of us tonight. But I hope you enjoy this content. And obviously, I do plan on making more content for you guys. More content with just us, no distractions. No distractions and just all of the content. That's the plan. And that's what will be in the next video. I'm going to end the video here. Maybe I can add. Woo! And I'll see you in the next one. Which is going to be a watch here. So don't forget to like, comment, and well, like and subscribe. Or well, comment. If you've got something to say, let me know.